What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I'll be going over my core four of MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. And if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you want to give that site a try, if you sign up there using promo code WINDAILY, it'll get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold. Gets you access to all of our daily articles, gets you access to our Discord. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code WINDAILY. So if we do a recap of yesterday, wasn't the best day. Our core four went one and three. Uh, we did hit on Hunter Renfro. Otani didn't do anything uh, yesterday. And both Anderson and Wright just barely missed their uh, strikeout props. Today is a new day. We'll look to go 4-0. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so it is Wednesday. Uh, there's split splits. There's games across all different times. Um, I went ahead and I tried to get mostly just night games. Um, I think there may be one early game in there, though. Um, so the first one that we are going to go with today is going to be a total basis, and that's going to be for Christopher Morel. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it up. He has just a half total base today, and he gets just a phenomenal matchup against Mike Miner. Um, anytime Mike Miner's on the mound, I, I really try to stack against him in DFS. Um, and also in prize picks, I like to use any batter props that I can find that are uh, within reach. All we need out of Morel today is a single, and it's very much in play. Um, Miner is just an awful pitcher. He gives up a ton of heart, ton of contact, gives up a ton of homers. He has a home runs per nine this year over two, which is the highest of his career. Uh, this is arguably one of the worst years that he's had in the major leagues. Um, and when you attack him, you typically want to attack him with, with righties. Righties have a pretty massive 575 slugging percentage versus him this year and a 404 Woba. Anytime you get over the 350 Woba, that's a good sign. Uh, anytime that you're over 400, you really want to attack that pitcher because that's really, really bad. Um, with Morrell, he does have hits in back-to-back -back games. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see him make it three in a row against Mike Miner. He's done decent against lefties over the last month with a 250 ISO. So he is starting to hit some for power against the Southpaws. Again, all we need out of Morel today is a single, and it's definitely within reach. So we're going to go ahead with the over on Christopher, Christopher Morel and his half total base. The next one that we're going to do is we're going to go with his teammate, Ian Happ, and we're going to go with Ian Happ's six and a half hitter fantasy score. Same matchup against Mike Miner. Uh, Happ is a switch hitter. He's much better from the right, from the, Right side, he's hitting 327 this year against lefties, um, and he also has, uh, and he's, which is significantly higher than what he's done as a lefty against righties. He's hitting just 260 against righties, so much better. His slugging percentage is also a bit higher um, against lefties. He's got a slugging percentage of 478 against southpaws. He homered last night. Wouldn't be surprised to see him take Miner deep today, as Miner is a very homer-prone pitcher. Um, our model has him at nine and a half today, so there's definitely some value with that six and a half hitter fantasy score. So we're going to go ahead and go with the over on the six and a half hitter fantasy score today. The next one that we're going to go with is going to be Jordan Montgomery and his 33 and a half pitcher fantasy score. Uh, if you read my aces and bases article this morning, you know that I'm a big fan of Montgomery tonight. Plan on using him as one of my top starting pitchers uh, in DFS and also prize picks. Outside of one bad start versus the Braves, he's been extremely solid. Um, he's facing a weak hitting team today in the Nationals. Uh, if we look at what this Nationals projected lineup's done over the last month, they have a 28% K rate versus Southpaw, so there's definitely some strikeout upside for Jordan Montgomery today. Um, all we need for Montgomery to get to the 33 and a half is we need a quality start, a win, handful of strikeouts, absolutely within reach. It's something that he's been doing often with the Cardinals. So we're going to go with the over on the 33 and a half uh, pitcher fantasy score. The next one that we're going to go with is going to be a slight change. Originally I had no runs first inning for the Baltimore Orioles Toronto game. They made a little bit of a change today uh, and they're actually going to go with Tyler Wells as an opener uh, versus Dean Kramer starting. Uh, Wells just isn't very good and I could absolutely see the Blue Jays getting to him. Definitely not a safe pick anymore. Um, then, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go with Shohei Otani and his eight hitter fantasy score. He got us last night, didn't do much, uh, but today's going to be a different story. Gets a really nice matchup against Drew uh, Hutchinson um, tonight or this afternoon. This is a 4.07 p.m. start. 
Uh, Hutchinson's been really bad. Um, he's definitely been way worse against lefties. Lefties over the last month have a 161 ISO against him. Otani is one of the best hitters in the game. He's going to have quiet games like he had last night, but he rebounds extremely quickly. Uh, he's going to rebound today against righties over the last month. The dude has been on fire. He's got a 432 Woba against righties over the last month, and he's got a 328 ISO against righties over the last month. This is a great spot for him. Eight hitter fantasy score is definitely within reach. Our model actually has him at 11 and a half today. So again, there's some value with that eight hitter fantasy score. So we're going to go with the over on the eight hitter fantasy score for Shohei Otani today. So if we do a recap of our core four today, we're going to go with the over on Christopher Morrell and his half total base. We're going to go with the over on Ian Happ and his six and a half hitter fantasy score. We're going to go with the over on Jordan Montgomery and his 33 and a half pitcher, pitcher fantasy score. And we're going to go with the over on the eight hitter fantasy score for Shohei Otani. Another one to throw out there is Mike Trout. Trout's on fire right now. I believe he's homered in three straight games. Um, he's the best hitter in baseball when he's healthy. He's healthy right now. So he has an eight hitter fantasy score this afternoon. So if you want to go that route instead of Otani, wouldn't argue with you one bit. But again, this is a core four that I'm going to be going with today. Um, again, if you go with this today, just make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also, if you have any questions about your own picks, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Always happy to answer any questions that you may have. That said, it is Wednesday. Let's go 4-0 today. Good luck, everybody.